Hi guys, welcome to a new demonstration of Phaser 3. I figured I'd do an audio for this video so I can explain what you're actually seeing. Um, this demonstration is basically showing off the new multiple state system in Phaser 3. So in Phaser 2, states are single. The Phaser can only handle one state at any one time and you switch between states by changing them. Um, but in Phaser 3, states can run in parallel. States also have dimensions and positions, so they no longer have to take over the entire canvas. They can take over a small section of it, um, as you'll see with this demonstration. Some of you may remember the Amiga. This is kind of like a mock to the Amiga's workbench system, and I've created a few little apps to show multiple states. So first of all, we've got a demos window up here, which I can kind of drag around. This actual system here is a state in itself. So if I just pick one of the example apps on there, so we'll just pick the juggler. And there you can see this is just a juggler animation running. It's in a draggable window, but the entire animation and the window itself is its own independent state. So let's fire up the eyes demo. Okay, and we have some eyes tracking the mouse pointer around. Yet again, the eyes themselves are their own states rendering to their own tiny little window. We can put them over there. Let's put open a waves demo. And we have sine wave demonstration going over here. Again, rendering to its own window, but again, its own independent state. And let's create a star field. Okay, now the star field is actually a custom shader. It's using the um, pixel field game object, um, but I've limited it to use uh, this tiny window size here. So basically it's rendering into a reduced, it renders into a frame buffer, which is then resized and reduced into this. And as I drag it around, the frame buffer position is updated in real time. So it puts it in a new position. So you've got these uh, four demos running at once, but you can actually create multiple ones. So let's create another juggler. And we'll put you over there and we'll create some more eyes. And we'll put you down there. And let's create another star field. So this is another pixel field running. And if we really want to, we could even have another juggler sat on the top down here. Now, everything that you can see on screen at the moment, these are all fully independent states. So the code for them, they're, they're entirely isolated. So the code for this star field here um, is entirely isolated for the code for the sine wave over here or the juggler up here. So you can literally create your games um, and create states in your games and no longer have to treat them as if um, they're standalone. Now, although they don't communicate directly, it's easy to set up a bridge between them. For example, the background state that handles all of the icons and the windowing, um, that's a single state on its own, which then has references to the handles for all of the other different states within it. So it's easy to sort of manipulate one state by doing something in another state. And as you can see, the state updates were running so that, you know, the eyes are still tracking me, even though I've you know, got to create some more eyes. Stick them down there, create some more eyes up here. Um, you know, the, the update for each of these are running quite happily, um, even with all of these different states going. Now, state manager in phase of three, you can disable a state. So, um, although I haven't built that in, technically, if you click that there, that should close the window. And you could actually send that state, take it out of the active states list and put it back into the um you know, they're just the, the inactive states list. So it allows you to sort of create a bunch of states up front, activates just the ones that you need, and each of those states can render to a specific part of the screen, and then close them away again as when you don't need them. And then obviously that stops, you know, the update loops or the render loops running on inactive states. Um, so this basically is just a quick demonstration of what can be done with, um, this is the phase of three new renderer and the phase of three new state manager. Um, and all of the code for this, as always, is in GitHub. So, you know, it's a bit of a pain to get it all set up because it's set up for my environment. But if you want to, you can have a look and play around with it. Um, the code should be instantly recognizable to anyone that's ever done uh, any phase of coding before in the past. Um, but the, you know, the, the abilities to have multiple states running in parallel is, is pretty cool. And uh, that's it for this week.